Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Johnby Parker here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. I want to do an update video on the last one that I uploaded, which was the Mythfu clan boss team. Uh, because there's been, just, I had just had just a touch of a change for some of the other affinities. Uh, and now I can confidently say that I have it working 100% full auto, one key, ultra nightmare, nightmare brutal, all affinities. Because I have actually done them all. So, what's the change? What's the change? Um, Demitha, no change. She is still as uh, fast and as weird looking as ever. At 290 speed, with whatever kind of damage that you can get her, I have her in one speed set. I don't think that that necessarily matters for her. She just, she's like 290, 291, 292, something like that. Just get her fast. Uh, but no changes on Demitha. Seeker. No changes on Seeker either. He is still rolling at 184 speed and as much damage as stats as I could get him. I did change his masteries though. I went down this way to get him Heart of Glory. Increases damage inflicted by 5% when attacking with full HP. There you go. Things that you don't want. You do not want this. Uh, Cycle of Magic because you don't really, you don't want him, you don't want, you don't want this on any, anybody. If you're using Unkillable, you really don't want this. Um, you don't want turn meter required stuff, so you just don't don't. This is why usually with unkillable teams you go down the defense streak, but because we're doing block damage, we don't. This is a waste. Anyway, that's a long 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 story short. Just I got seeker, heart of glory. Now I did the same thing to Draco Morph. I went over and I got him heart of glory as well. Um, yeah, just helps him deal more damage. So, the changes, there's no, and also the last person that didn't have any changes was Eris. Eris didn't have any changes whatsoever either. She is still rocking at 261 speed with as much damage stats as I could get her. One speed set, it's all good, works out. Alright, so the two changes. One was Fushan. Fushan, Fushan, however you say it. Uh, he's actually in a perception set. You need to factor this in. This is the this is the one type of, of clan boss build where... You're not even just you're not just looking at your speed, your total speed, this number here. You have to factor in your true speed, which is why trying to build this team is almost a requirement to get on Deadwood Jedi's clan boss calculator. Because that'll show you the true speeds, and it's very, very finicky. Very finicky with this team. So using this perception set, you have to factor that in with your actual total speed. Now, I guess some something happened and I didn't necessarily factor that in. And so, against two of the affinities, he was one speed too slow. So what did I do? I got him 185 speed. Uh, and now this works on every single affinity. And then what else happened? Draco Morph. Well, we still have him in some massive, massive damaging gear, but I had to slow him down a little bit. Um, you can, you can, uh, uh, we can sit here and think about this and how it actually works all day long. It's not, I'm going to fucking bore you to death trying to actually figure it out. All you have to know is that 167 speed with all the other champions at their specific speeds, Dracomorph being at 167 speed is the perfect speed for all four affinities. This is mainly because of spirit affinity. Don't ask me why. Something about the decrease speed or the increase speed you get from Eris. It's a whole complicated mumbo and jumbo. Who cares? 167 speed. 168? No. 166? No. 167. 100% of the day time that works. Fantastic. So, I have some screenshots I'll show you guys here. This is me. I hit the clan boss on Void. Boom. There it is. We did 89.81 million damage. Dracomorph coming in at 37. Everybody else doing a good amount. Fushan there at 19. Pretty good. Right? Take out the Void. Let's take a look at the Force Affinity, which is weak for Dracomorph and Seeker. Still got the one key. Uh, 73.92. Dracomorph almost getting out DPS by Fushan there. But Fushan definitely takes a step up here. Uh, so then the last Affinity is Spirit. Boom. 82.95. You see the big fat hit that Fushan took, but Seeker makes up for it. So... Yes, this team will completely one key all four affinities, no matter what, with the exact same builds. These are just runs that I've done over the last couple of days, which is why it's taken me a week to come out with the update, because I needed the different affinities. So, with that being said, 
good luck building this team. If you have any questions or you need some help, twitch.tv forward slash John B. Parker. That is where we built this team, and that is where I can help you if you need it. Um, otherwise, I would say check the link in the description of the last video, which I will leave in the description of this video, uh, for the Deadwood Jedi website. It's got all of the information on, on uh, how to build this team. It's not an easy team to build. I do not recommend building this team if you have a lack of patience. I do not recommend building this team if you do not have a Dracomorph, a Gentoro, a Turvold, or somebody like that. It might work with Ninja, but it's a hell of a lot more complicated, so I don't recommend Ninja, actually. Um, so, that being said, if you uh, if you enjoy the video, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, Hit that, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs down button if you hated the video. That's cool too. It's all good to me. Uh, sub if you haven't already. We passed 150 subscribers. Love you guys all so much. We blew past 150 and we have 153 now. Yes. Loving it. You see my voice change. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get out of here before I make even more of a fool of myself. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Peace out.